Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are featuring an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Sure. Scene Welcome one. Welcome to Behind Take the one. TV. I'm Louie. And I'm Catherine. Today on Pogna News we have a group of Alho students who have had an amazing trip in a spaceship that has landed them back in 1961. Check out some of the things they saw on their visit. Did you know that in 1961, the poor kids only had one channel on their really little TV and that it was black and white, not colour. It only started at 6 o'clock at night and went off at 10 o'clock. Imagine that. Luckily, they had board games like Monopoly, Snakes and Ladders and Chess and they had balls, bats and skipping ropes to play with. Hopscotch was around then and so were hula hoops. People didn't have dishwashers and they had to do all their dishes by hand. Amazing! Their furniture looks old-fashioned and not like ours now. They had radios and clocks but not digital ones. Here's our on-the-spot reporter, Lockie, with a friend Emma to tell us about their homes. Joining me is Emma. Hello, hi Emma. Thank you for joining us today. Can you t tell me what their houses look like? Their houses looked a bit like ours, except they were wood and brick. They don't have any insulation, so they must get cold in winter. What sort of food did they eat? They were cereal. They had wheat bix and um, cornflakes and rice bubbles and porridge for the cereals. They had sandwiches just like us and the mothers had a garden so th they would have fruit and vegetables. The mothers would bake biscuits and cakes for their snacks. Thanks Emma and that's all from me. Now to the studio. Thanks Lucky and now for something completely different. Did you know the school was very strict in the 1960s? You weren't even allowed to talk in class. If you were naughty, you might have red hands because you could get the strap or the cane. There were no computers, projectors or laminators and the teacher wrote on a blackboard with chalk. There weren't any groups so all the kids got taught the same stuff at the same time. At math time they all opened the same books and do the same page. Weird, isn't it? They even all have the same spelling list. Now over to our reporter, Lockie. Hello, I'm Lockie and joining me is Alex. Can, 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 can you tell me how the children got to school? If they live in the country, they go on a school bus just like us, but if they're in town, they walk or bike. Imagine that. Can you tell me what sort of school gear what did, did they have? They had a little suitcase to put their stuff in. They have exercise books just like us. They had pencils and rulers, but they didn't have highlighters, coloured pens and pencils. Th thanks, Alex. Now over to Jack with the weather update. North in Auckland, it looks like rain, so remember your bollies. Wodawala will have early rain, but the sun will be out by lunchtime. Napier, of course, will have a lovely sunny day with temperatures up around 21. Palmerston North can also look forward to a sunny day, and it, and it will be especially fine in the Bahogana Valley with temperatures reaching up to 24. Wellington, luckily for us it is fine 
sunny and has no wind, unlike the South Island, which is expecting rain, snow and gale force winds, especially around Christchurch, which will get shakes in the in the Carval, um and Stewart Island are also having um, their share of wind, rain and the snow will be will arrive by the afternoon. Temperatures will be as low as four minus four, so wrap up warm. That's all from me for now. Good night New Zealand. Catch you tomorrow. Back to the news desk with Louie and Catherine. Thanks, Jack. We have Thanks, Jack. We have been certainly enjoyed the fine day in Wellington. Well, that's all from us tonight. We hope you have enjoyed the show and wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. From the whole team at Pahangana TV, goodbye, goodbye. Inora. Two.